throughout the Royal Air Force's first century, which we celebrate this year. A partnership between the Royal Air Force and the United States Air Force, which is right now being demonstrated by our aircrew as they fly and fight alongside each other in the skies over Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, and many places besides. A partnership which will continue to grow and strengthen even further as our air forces plan and develop together the future of our air and space enterprises. Thank you for this utterly unique gift, made all the more special by having you here, Al. It's a privilege to meet you as one of only 24 people who have flown to the moon. And 47 years ago as a young boy, I remember watching those flights to the moon. You were part of my inspiration then, and you continue to be so today. I'm afraid so. <laughs> now, of course, what's just been uh, mentioned is that Captain Warden attended the Empire Test Pilot School in the United Kingdom in 1964. I have reviewed his report. <laughs> Commandant at the time wrote, Captain Warden has first class officer qualities and an excellent mental approach to flight test work. Determined, clear thinking and objective, he clearly has the potential of developing into a first class test pilot. Well, I think you'd agree with me, you've done significantly more than that over your, your career. And the fact that the United Kingdom and the Empire Test Pilot School were able to set you in the way that you have described on that path to the moon in 1971 as part of Apollo 15. Well, that is something very special to us. Thank you.